Okay, listen. Hockey players are extremely competitive, and sometimes the temper gets ramped up even in practice. These guys want to go hard all the time. They want to keep refining and improving their game, and you got to go hard in practice. How many times have you heard players say, treat practice like a game? That's how you get better. So, nine times out of ten, when there's a fight in practice, it's emotion, spur of the moment. Like Miles Wood said in the interview, it's like two brothers going at it, and you forget about it, you brush it off. But the reason I wanted to talk about this one is because it's P.K. Subban. And not only because he's one of the biggest personalities in sports, he's super well-known, he's got his brand, but because this is not even close to the first time this has happened with P.K. Subban. And yes, like I said, usually this isn't a big deal and it happens way more than you think. But let's look at P.K.'s laundry list of fights with teammates because at a certain point, it's not, all oh, just brush it off anymore. When it's the same guy getting into tussles with teammates on a regular basis, it does start to kind of distract and become a bit of a problem honestly and kind of offers some insinuations as to some other things that might be going on in the room and I want to say that ever since he came in the league in 2010 and I watched P.K. Subban in those two playoff series against Pittsburgh and Washington when he beat both of them I've loved him he's been one of my favorite players in the whole league but this is ridiculous Like, the dude's been chased out of two cities. He'd be chased out of a third right now if he didn't have a big money contract and somebody wanted him for that contract. It's ridiculous. He's been in in practice fights with who? With Placanitz, with Gallagher, with Pacioretty, with D'Arnais. Like, the list just goes on, and it's too much. I get it. Again, like I said... Dudes do this all the time. We remember Zach Sanford and uh, Bortuzzo in St. Louis. They won the Stanley Cup that year after they had a little tussle in practice. Happened in Calgary a few years back. I've seen it a ton. But when it's the same guy doing it over and over again, it's ridiculous. And this is why I'm making a video about this, because I want to see your opinions down there. Is this just something where it's like, oh, okay, this is good. This is going to light a fire under the team's ass. Or are you guys more along the lines of, oh, okay, well, it's PK. PK does this uh, more times than he eats breakfast in the morning. He's in practice fights. It's almost like part of his routine as a player. And he looked hot. Like, he looked angry, dude. I mean, you guys saw the footage. He looked like he was kind of livid at Miles Wood. And Miles Wood came out and said, you know what? It's just a sibling rivalry. Siblings fight. Uh, It was something that sparked up during the shift, was his exact words. And they brush it off. They forget about it. What do you expect him to say? It's his teammate. It's P.K. Subban, one of the most high-profile guys in the NHL. You think he's going to come out and say, oh, I hate P.K.? I don't, I don't want to be around him. No, of course he's not going to say that. But that's why, to me, this one is really fascinating and disappointing from PK to me. And I'm one of the people who have really been hoping that he was going to have a bounce-back season this year with the Devils. Because last year was really abysmal. By far his worst season in the league. And he's not looked too great. I've been watching the scrimmages. And yes, granted, they are just scrimmages. I honestly don't think he's looked like his usual self back when he was in Nashville and Montreal. I really do think he's lost a step, he's slipping, and this to me is not a good sign for PK. Like, I understand, you want to get riled up, you want to get those emotions going, because if you're PK, that's how you have your success. But you gotta focus on getting your game back, man. Forget about these tussles in practice. Focus on your game. I don't know, guys. That's just my opinion on the situation. I mean, usually I just brush it off when I see an in-practice fight. But this one, I had to go in on it. Let me know your guys' opinions on it down below. Uh, I want to know. And uh, like this video. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one. All right? Peace out.